Tunajua kwa sisi kenya tuko na hiyo uwezo tukisaidiwa nao wengi wetu kwa hivyo ni maombi yetu tupewe silaha ya kutosha sisi wenyewe tuko tayari kupambana hata kama wengine wataenda sisi wengine bado tuko so ndawapa nyinyi wananchi wa area hii hapana rudi nyuma kwa sababu sasa mtiti ameenda kama wale wengine walienda jana tu tukiongea kuna wawili tena wameenda pale mbele ya pale mtiti ali alikanyaga hiyo kitu mpande hii ndani kuelekea Garissa. So sisi bado tuko na tuko na tuko imara na tuko na nguvu ya kutosha. Hata mkiona komanda yake si ametoa ametoa majozi. Hiyo si majozi ya nini? Ya kushindwa. Hiyo ni majozi ya kuendelea. Si ndio komanda? Eh ni ya kuendelea. So ukizoe liboi fuata au kabisa kwa mkodisho. Sisi tuko tutapita juu tukiwafanyia surveillance. Mumesema kwa wazi na mtasikia ile sauti nitakuwa nayo huko mbunge. Wewe si chuma mtu aende kazi na ile silaha umempatia ni mwili yake. Hiyo lazima tukosane sana. Na si kusema serikali ni imefanya mabaya sana, lakini lazima tuangalie tukifanya budgeting, priority ni nini? Hatuwezi chuma watu waende watuchunge pale ili sisi tulime na tunawatuma bila ile silaha inaitikana ili wapate protection. So your message is at all we'll do our best watu wa mbubo musilie sana musilie kama amujui mungu mungu ndiyo alileta fidel ndiyo amechukua so i'm really pleading with the government and our partners our friends like united states of america that we should have this equipment as soon as possible even if it is a donation because you know we are having hard times economically we may not afford to buy them now but the strategic partners the Americans should be able to support our security forces and uh, the ones who are doing the border patrol. There is an advanced technology which we can have even patrols which are, you know, guided by modern technology. We have to get to mea before we begin, kama uliona wengine walikuwa na balloon. Hiyo poda yote hiko tabinyingi. Iwepo equipment kali 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 ya kukommunicate kwa maofisa. Na mimi naomba serikali ya Kenya tusipoteze mwingine. Na pia naomba mheshimiwa Ndwale sababu yeye huko ndio kwao. Na yeye amesimamia majeshi. Watume majeshi wafanye kazi na polisi. Kazi ya jeshi ni kuchunga boda na kuangalia ya kwamba Kenya haijaingia mwingine. Hapo naona serikali imeanguka kabisa. Hiyo decision ingekuwa imechukuliwa kitambo. Ndio officers wetu kama vile wamefanya pale Rift Valley mahali kwa Pokot huko kuna Castle Rasli Boda yetu ya Kenya ile hatari sana ni sisi na Somalia. Pia wanajeshi wakuwe pale na niko na hakika wako na hiyo equipment wanajeshi. Wasaidiane na ofisa wetu. Tumepoteza mwingine jana ambaye anatoka Machakos na sasa tunaambia serikali hatutangoja kupoteza mwingine. 